everyone, and welcome back to another Tech in 10 video with your AXI PD team. This is Kelly, and I'm here to talk to you about another amazing resource that, that is available to you and will be especially useful during this time of distance learning. Getting information out to students and parents during this time is crucial, and there isn't a one-way fits all approach. While it seems the majority of teachers are using Google Classroom to push content to their students, some are still looking for other avenues. Another way of creating a landing page for information is to create a website through Google Sites. I know, you are probably thinking that creating a website would be difficult and that you would have to know coding and programming, but that is not the case at all. It is actually super easy to get started and you can totally build a website within minutes. Because this is a feature of Google, you can pull content from other sections of Google, such as your Drive, Calendar, YouTube, and more. So let's jump on in and start a new Google Site together. To find the Google Sites app, you will need to go to your Waffle and then select Sites. You can always go straight to Google Sites by typing in sites.google.com in the address bar at the top of your Chrome window. Side note, you can actually do this with the majority of Google Apps, such as Docs, Forms, Drive, Calendar, etc. All right, so let's get started by clicking on New Google Sites and then the plus sign at the bottom right corner. So let's start by titling our new site. I am going to call this site Miss Kelly's last page. And here's a tip. If you rename your main site title here, you can then click on the site title at the top left and it will automatically copy your new site title for you. This also works in Docs as well. So from here, we can also change our main image at the top of our site. To do this, we click Change Image and select image. We can even upload our own picture or choose one from their gallery of images. You can also search Google Images here as well. So I'll go ahead and select an image and then we can change our overall theme over here to the right. So I'm gonna click on theme and I am going to click on Aristotle. So what we are looking at now is the home page of our website. Just like any website, there is a main home page, and then you have additional pages that branch off for various topics. So let's start by personalizing this home page. On my home page, I would like to maybe have basic information for my students. This may include your Google Hangout or Meets or Zoom office hours, your email address, and any other information they may need. I'm going to pretend that I am creating this page for my elementary students who maybe don't have a Google account or don't have a Chromebook or device at home to be able to complete assignments. I will now choose a layout template under the Insert tab to include a picture and text for my students. For the picture, I'm going to upload a quick Bitmoji of myself that I downloaded to my computer. And I'm going to uncrop it so that it will show the entire image. After that, I'm going to write a quick note to my students. After my homepage is complete, it is time to add additional pages to our site. For this example, I want to create a new page for each week with different activities and resources for my students to complete at home. So let's head over to the right side and click on Pages, and then click on the plus sign and add a new page for next week. I'm gonna call this Week 1, and then click Done. Now remember, to add things to this page, you must go back to the Insert button so that you can find all the ways that you can add content to your page. I will start by adding a YouTube video that I would like my students to watch. So I will scroll down until I find the YouTube option. 
And then I want to add in a read aloud story that I would love for them to watch. I'm gonna search for my video, select to add it in, and then I can change the size of it as well. I will also add an image of an outdoor scavenger hunt that I think would be fun for them to complete at home. To do this, I could do a quick Google search for an outdoor scavenger hunt and save the image to my computer. Then I'll click images, upload, and select it from my computer. Now remember that you can crop and uncrop images and resize them here as well. After this, I would like to add a website where my students can practice their subtraction problems through games. I like to do this by adding a button on the page and labeling it. So scroll down to where you see button. Then I'm gonna title my button and paste in my link. After this, I can click on the button and resize as well as change my fill options. So now when my students go to my website and click right here where it says subtraction games website, it will bring them straight to the website. So now we could talk about more items that we could add, but I really wanna go up to the top and focus on some of these buttons at the top. So this button right here gives you a preview of the site to show you how it will look like on a computer, on a tablet, and on a mobile device. The next button is the person with the plus sign. So this is how you can actually add collaborators such as other teachers or your administrator to be able to add to your site. So the last one let's talk about is the publish button. So this is how you are going to actually publish this website and make it live for others to see. Now don't worry, you can co constantly log in and make changes to your site. So when you're ready, you will click on the publish option, which is where you will be able to name your new website. You can also edit the end of your web address at the top to make it easier to remember. Also, if you are using a district Google account, you may need to change access here to people outside of your domain as your parents will not have a Google account in your domain. When you are ready, just hit the publish button and your new site is live. So you can copy and paste your new link address into a quick email to your parents and you are good to go. When you are ready to add more content, just hop back on to Google Sites and you can edit, add, or delete content as needed. I hope you find this super simple and not at all complicated because it truly is meant to be pretty self-explanatory and easy to follow. Now remember, if you have any questions or need any tips for starting your new Google site, we are always here to help. So just reach out. Until next time.